Hi Top Guns, it's Olga and today we'll talk about how to find a work at home profession that is not as calm and is profitable enough to make a living. I often met with this question on LinkedIn, on Quora, in thematic groups and it always amazed me at how people who are great professionals cannot position themselves, cannot present themselves and cannot get a job they deserve. And this is not a rocket science, this is something that anybody, and I mean anybody, can do uh, with, by following simple steps. Step number one, define your direction. Whatever you claim you are, are you a voiceover artist, or are you a software engineer, or are you a software architect, or are you a UI UX designer, or you would like to be, to start your path, uh, the personal assistant, well, it doesn't really matter, but you got to decide on one direction, one person that you position and claim yourself to be. Now, step, step number two, create a resume according to that direction. If you claim yourself to be a software engineer, put in your resume everything related to software engineering business and do not mention that you worked in McDonald's when you were a student. And that relates to any direction you've chosen. This is where title matters. By seeing your title, recruiters will understand who you are and what will be the best match for you. Now, step number three follows, and that is make all your social media presentable. If you have um, photos in a bathing suit, in bikinis, on beaches, uh, on your Facebook page, consider adding a better closet for your connections only, for your friends and family. But if you can make something presentable on that page, better do. Add some professional articles, add some professional information in the About Me section. Anything related to your chosen direction. Shape up all your social media accounts, recruiters might find you there. And then next step follows, create a LinkedIn account. LinkedIn is a network designed for professionals who are either looking for a job or looking for partnerships or looking for projects or looking for any types of synergies with the persons, with the professionals in their related industry. So if you consider uh, finding a job, having a LinkedIn account is the first thing you should do after you get your CV ready. Create a good profile that lists all, all of your skills and uh, have a title that corresponds to your CV. Now the next is consider joining thematic groups and thematic forums related to your profession. In, on these forums, you will not only find helpful tips and tricks and advice uh, and some professional secrets, there might be also recruiters uh, actually sitting on those forums and trying to find the right fit for their clients and their companies. And if not recruiters, then you might find someone who can direct you to the person uh, who is looking for a professional like yourself. And another one, make sure you let the world know you are open. You may as well put it into your title, for example, software engineer looking for remote job opportunities or a personal assistant open to opportunities worldwide and so on and so forth. Let the world know you're open and then recruiters will be able to find you even faster. Now, uh, the next is join some remote employment platforms like FlexJobs, FlexJobs.com or Remote.com or any other platform that offers remote opportunities. You can Google that, for example, Remote Jobs UK or Remote Jobs India and then find some work at home opportunities in your local companies, for example. Now, another one. Create, consider creating a portfolio of your works. If you're a software engineer, then it won't be a problem. You can put on uh, some test projects if you're a newbie, a junior. 
or your student projects. And if you are middle and senior software engineer, of course you get a track of those projects. Some of them might be indeed, but some of them you can describe what you are doing without actually disclaiming all the details to the world. The next, apply anywhere you can to get a job. Don't be shy, don't underestimate yourself. Write a winning cover letter, attach your winning CV to that email and send that email to recruiters, HRs, company websites, employment pages, anywhere you can to get a job. Actually, those first steps I mentioned should be enough for you to uh, receive some kind of proposal from recruiters. If you're just starting out as in this direction as a professional, then you should apply, of course, anywhere and let the recruiters know that you are open, you are capable and you can do the job. So good luck Top Guns, make sure to drop your comment below on your personal struggle when trying to find a work at home job or any job and if and how you overcame those difficulties. So make sure to come back the next week for another round of motivation and I hope you will be doing alright.